These are the five most unreal tech stories that I have seen this year, but they did not come from the big high-tech publications or YouTubers. I've heard about all of them on this Instagram account called Tech Balloon, and its host, Hudson Labna, is going to join me right now in a few minutes to tell you guys about the top five stories that I picked for you because they are absolutely mind-blowing. And let's see if any of you have heard about any of them. I don't think you have. And of course, as always, we'll take questions from you, my live audience. And we're going to start right now. Welcome to E4 Electric. I am broadcasting live from Houston, Texas. And I'm sorry, did I say Houston? Austin. I think it's because I cannot wait to be in Houston. I, I, this place, I, 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 I don't like this place. I, and I don't think this place likes me, but more about that later, maybe. Uh, but on the way to uh, Austin, Texas, I stopped by Dallas, Texas. That's where me and Hudson actually met for the first time, even though I've been following for a couple of years. I don't know why we have no evidence of that. <laughs> we didn't take a selfie or anything like that. Just had a quick coffee while I was charging. Uh, now, um, Tech Balloon. You know, this account I started following uh, a couple of years ago because for some reason, the stories that he has been putting out are not the stories that I normally see in the uh, in the, in the, like a regular high tech media. Usually it's like, look at this iPhone that's coming up. No, no, no. The Samsung is better. And then, you know, the, and then the both phones end up being the same and not that much better than we had before. But you have to dish out 500 extra dollars and that's the end. But the stories that he's talking about are, are, are like, oh my God, I've never heard of this before. I cannot believe this is happening. Like a lot of these stories are from like, you know, back in the 80s and 90s, we've seen some tech in the movies and and it's like, wow, will, will we ever actually have that? And these are the stories he's covering that are actually going to uh, uh, come to life uh, now. And I know we normally talk about electric cars here, but I also know people who geek out on electric cars also geek out on, on the tech stuff. Uh, and uh, Hudson has almost what a hundred thousand followers on uh, Instagram, and I also actually follow him on TikTok. Um, and so let's. I'm I'm just gonna usually I I tell you guys about the story, but I'm actually going to have uh, him tell you about the top five that I picked. Uh, these are my favorite stories. They're the most mind blowing. And you just, if you've never heard about the number one story, you guys, this is like I I cannot even believe. I I thought this was just some sort of a joke, but it is not. It's literally half a trillion project that will change the way we live, possibly. It, it is mind-blowing. So uh, without further ado, let me bring Hudson in. Hudson, how are you doing, my friend? And also, let me ask you uh, a hard-hitting question right off the bat. Uh, why did we not take a selfie when we met in Dallas? I don't know. You were on a short time frame, and I think you're going to get charged after 10 minutes. That's what I remember. Yes, I was going to get charged money after ch being charged with electricity. That's true, even though there was nobody waiting. So, okay, listen, uh, thanks for being here. Let's jump right in because we have a lot to cover. I got five stories that I picked for you. So let's start with the, for the, with the number five. I actually have seen it on just one at an HBO once, but this is called AI Art. Tell us about it. Yeah, AI Art, you might have seen it in the news a little bit where you type a text prompt into one of these generators and it will come up with a piece of art that's probably better than I could ever paint in my entire life. So there's a bunch of stuff that does this and we tried it out a couple times. There are mixed results, but it seems like more of the time the media puts in the best results. We did not get the best results when we tried it out. Yeah, so let me show you. So we took this picture of me. This is with the Xpong P7 in, in I think, in Norway. And we basically tell the the uh, the AI to, to replace me with a dog. This is what it did for that. A pink fish, which I think is did a pretty good job. I don't know why it's humping the car. but And also with a beautiful girl, you know. And listen, we all have different tastes. But I got to say, this is, this is, this is uh, <laughs> not exactly what I had in mind. But at the same time, and you know, you can replace the dog with a cat, and and and, and, and it's 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 pretty cool. But also, you can do things like you can type it in, right? Like, hey, why don't you merge the ocean with my bedroom? And you know, boom! All of a sudden, you get something like this. So this is very cool. Now, let me ask you this: so this is an amazing image. Somehow, with me, things didn't really go very well uh, with replacing me in the car. 
why am I getting different results than all this, you know, other people who are reporting on this and getting all these beautiful images? Yeah, Alex, as great as you look in those photos, usually the media tends to go through a bunch of times and generate the best one. So it might take a hundred generations to actually get one good one. Um, and that's typically what they put. The AI will sometimes have a problem blending together some things or putting together an image of certain types. All right, now let's get to the second story. And the second story is one of those things that we used to have and then they were taken away from us. And now that we're getting it back, we're so excited, kind of like electric cars, right? Electric cars were a thing a hundred years ago. Then, then, then now it's coming back and people are like, oh, new technology. No, it's been around for a while. Tell us about th this one that has to do with pretty much everybody who ever traveled on planes. Yeah, so for as long as pretty much everyone can remember, when we've gone in the plane, we had to put our phone on airplane mode, but that may not be the case anymore. In the EU, they're going to drop regulations that require you to put on airplane mode, and they are potentially going to install 5G modes on planes. They're paving the way with regulations, first in the EU and now potentially in the US in the future. But for now, if you're taking a flight in Europe, you can look forward to that. But maybe a couple years, the US might allow you to use your cell phone service on the plane, unfortunately, and someone may just be yapping on the phone next to you, uh, whether that's a good thing or not. Oh, I cannot wait. Crying babies and people talking on their cell phones. I mean, everything I ever wanted. But at the same time, you know, by the way, you might not remember. You, you're too young to remember that they did have a built-in uh, phones, like satellite phones, into the seats before they were replaced with a screen. So it's kind of like what we used to have, and now it's coming back. So that's uh, – that's that, I, I'm, I'm looking forward to it, and I'm not looking forward to it. Okay. So let's move on to the third story. And this is the one that we kind of used in the cover because literally it is out of the Terminator movie. Tell us about this one. Yeah, it's totally out of a sci-fi movie. It's come, it's coming from a company called Mojo Vision. And what it is, is as you can see here, a contact lens that's going to go in your eye. It's going to display images for you and it has a camera. So let's say you're at the airport and you need to find your Uber. You'll look through this lens and it'll tell you your Uber is down at door D4, and it'll show you that in the lens, which is straight out of a sci-fi movie. So this is something that people will be able to, I mean, right now, I guess a lot of people know this as, as something that's like Google walking on with their, with their glasses. This is where you don't even need the glasses, right? You put it as a contact lens, and it literally starts showing you this pretty much head-up display, like uh, images right in front of you, and you can get a lot of really useful information. I personally would prefer to know if girls around me are single or not, but, you know, we'll I'm sure that is, that, that, that is coming at some point. Uh, this can really change the way we, I mean, even just going through an airport, you know, back to the planes, I guess. Yeah, it's, it's crazy. But at this point, it's a prototype. So the company said uh, by 2020 something, it should come out. They've come out with their prototype project, their product, but it will take a little bit to actually come out with a real deal, uh, hopefully before 2030. But with this kind of stuff, you never know how long it's going to take to develop a cyborg guy. All right, now let's get to the number two. And this is again, something from like a sci-fi movie where, you know, we can be replaced with our virtual selves, which could be a good thing and a bad thing. So tell us about it. Yeah, so there's this uh, software called Synthesia. It's mostly for business use right now, but you're able to type in text and have an AI character speak for you. It doesn't look quite like a human, but it does look natural enough so you could send a video to someone. And not only that, can you choose characters from other people, but you can film yourself and become an AI character. And you may want to send an email, type up whatever you want, and you'll send a video to whoever you want of yourself talking just by typing. Okay, so you can actually not just use whatever characters they have, because they all look like real people, honestly, and they can speak in different languages, but you can scan the face of yourself and then all of a sudden you can just be somewhere on vacation and running this YouTube channel. And I think what they did was they did a demo of Messi. I think everybody knows who Messi is after this week, right? Uh, where he actually, they, they made him, uh, I guess, uh, leave some birthday messages to different people in different languages where he wasn't even there. Let, let's let's run that uh, uh, the video clip for a second. Hey, Daniel, what's up? Mi amigo Ezequiel nos ha invitado a ver los cuartos de final esta noche. Y ahorita ahora Fegi. 
لو ما قدرتش عيشوا انتوا بقى مع الماتش بيه وان لتاع لينشي سايتي Oh my God! They're not gonna. They're not gonna need either one of us uh, uh, in a very near future, <laughs> Hudson. So, uh, okay, uh, let's get to the number one because this is so freaking unreal. And guys in the chat room, please, uh, please let me know if you've heard of this. I've only heard of this because I I watch uh, Hudson's uh, uh, Instagram feed. And by the way, I put that in the description of this video. You should you should definitely subscribe to that. And let's get him to a hundred thousand followers. Uh, tell us about this thing called the line. Yeah, the line. If you haven't heard of it already, you're going to hear about it big time in the next couple of years. So it's a $500 billion project in Saudi Arabia that will span 105 miles. And as the name suggests, it's a line. But it's a futuristic vision for how we should live in society. And uh, it's going to include several layers from transportation to waste management, stuff like that. So people can live in a line. Yeah, and so like, okay, so it, how much is it going to cost? Which country it's it's in, and uh, why the line? I mean, most cities are usually like you know a, a circle or a square. The way I see it, the line is a huge time saver. I mean, think of a huge city like Los Angeles. There's no way you can house such a huge population and have it be efficient with the current way of doing cities. Just imagining a whole new cities. Saving time, like let's say in Los Angeles, miles that could take you two hours to do. Whereas with the line and the efficient transportation method, you can get there in 10 minutes because there's no roads, no carbon emissions. This is the city of the future. All right, man. Well, listen, it's it's been fun having you on because, like I said, I get pretty much all of these tech news from you. And uh, you know, these are the stories that I was like, okay, I gotta tell my audience. So thanks so much, uh, thanks so much for joining me. It was fun hanging out with you in Dallas. I know you'll be gone from from uh, on your holiday on a, on your vacation by the time I'm gonna get there, probably in a couple of weeks. Uh, but uh, happy holidays to you, man, and I will see you back on Instagram. Thanks for having me. All right, cool. All right, and of course, guys, I strongly suggest following him on. Um, uh instagram or tiktok all right guys uh it was nice uh chatting with you and, and it was nice uh having a hudson on the channel talking about my favorite uh, uh, uh tech news that i've been kind of gathering throughout the year i hope you enjoyed it too uh we are back to electric car news uh on sunday and then solar i'm gonna have another awesome guest for you guys talking about solar and the money you're going to save next year because of the of the new bill uh, that was signed this year so Thanks for hanging out with me. I am looking forward to all of your comments uh, when we repost this on, on Thursday. And of course, as always, remember to stay charged. Take it